What is the most important metric in email marketing? Well, you don't need me to tell you that there are a lot of metrics that you could potentially track in your email marketing strategy. However, there is just one single metric that you gotta watch while you can safely ignore all others. What is going on, my friend? If this is your first time here, welcome. I am Jeff from 10tononline.com. Listen, if you wanna escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business, and launch a better tomorrow, then you're definitely in the right spot. Now, let's dig into it. Let's start getting some answers here. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. Here it is. Let's answer the question, what is the most important metric in email marketing? Now, if you've been using email marketing for any length of time, as we mentioned just a moment ago, you already know that there are a variety of metrics that you could possibly be tracking. So here I'm thinking of metrics like your click-through rates or your unsubscribes or open rates, metrics like this. But of all the metrics that you could possibly track, the metric that is the most important is one you may have not put much weight on before. Here it is, the number of new email subscribers that you are attracting onto your list per week or per month or in whatever time frame you choose to use. Yes, the number of new subscribers that you are getting is the most important metric in your email marketing efforts, and I would love to explain why. This metric is the most important metric in your email marketing efforts because it relates directly to your business's sales funnel. Every business, large or small, whether they are aware of it or not, has a sales funnel. Now, if you're not really sure what I'm talking about here, here's the gist. The top of the funnel is a, well, has a wide opening, and this is where all of your pre-qualified sales leads are coming into your business. And for yourself, if you're utilizing an email marketing strategy in your business, then new people joining your list are the people who are coming into the top of your business's sales funnel. Sure, if you really wanted to, you could track other email marketing metrics like the aforementioned click-through rates, open rates, and so on. But again, if you really want to, you can. But your new subscribers, again, per day, per week, per month, in whatever time frame you want to track them in, that is your most important metric. Again, because the name of the game here is to consistently and continually bring in more and more pre-qualified sales leads into the top of your sales funnel. Again, your other email marketing metrics, you can track them if you want but they do not have as great an impact on your bottom line, which is another key crucial metric in your business. When I say bottom line, I mean sales revenue. That's what I'm talking about. New subscribers coming into the top of your sales funnel has a direct impact on your sales and on your revenue. The other metrics, open rates and whatever else we mentioned, they do not have nearly as big an impact on your bottom line. And personally, as a digression, if you'll allow me, I do not bother even looking at open rates or unsubscribes or things like this. I find them distracting. I don't even bother tracking them. But you may want to, I suppose, if you want. And since we're on the subject of email marketing metrics, what about the dreaded unsubscribes? Should you worry about your unsubscribes? I sincerely hope this brings you great relief. The answer is absolutely not. Do not worry, do not fret about unsubscribes. I get unsubscribes every single day. That's because anyone who's unsubscribing from your list or from my list, really what's happening here is they are politely showing themselves out. They entered into the top of your sales funnel. They realize that whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you're offering, whatever your business is all about, isn't good for them. It isn't a good fit for them. And so they are politely excusing themselves. And that is perfectly fine because what you want, my friend, is you want an attentive and interested email list that is chock full of pre-qualified customers, not a list that is full of lukewarm leads, tire kickers, freebie seekers, looky loos, or people who don't value what you do, who were never gonna buy from you in the first place. So next up, let's take some big steps forward to get you on the right track and increase sales in your business. If you're ready for it, head over to 10tononline.com forward slash sales. There, enroll in your free sales funnel crash course. This is a totally self-paced online workshop. In other words, you work through it at your own pace. You go through the material at your own pace. 
Here, you'll discover what the real true meaning of selling, what selling is really all about. For most of us, I think selling is an uncomfortable word. We don't want to do anything shady or greasy or, you know, take advantage of people or anything like that. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not what real true selling is all about. So you're going to discover exactly what actual real world selling is all about. Plus, you'll gain some real world methods in your free workshop to boost your chances of success and best position and pitch your products. You will definitely want to bring a notepad. Your workshop is chock full of awesome info. We've got a lot of content ahead to get through. You want to take detailed notes as we go. I'll see you over there next. You don't want to miss it.